Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of May. Okay, so this is for the month of May for Cancer. Okay, so what do we have for Cancer for the month of May? Walking away, walking away. Somebody's walking away. Could be you, could be the person you're dealing with. Somebody is walking away. They are turning their back. It's like they're saying one last goodbye to the past, okay? They're taking a look back, but they're going anyway, okay? This person is leaving. They are, they're leaving. It's like goodbye, see ya. So somebody is walking away. Could be you, could be the person that you're dealing with. It's pretty, that card is pretty self-explanatory. Looks like that person is happy to walk away as well. Um, closure, closing. And it, it, nine, that equals nine. Nines are about closure. It's, it's closing that door. Um, going through those gates. I'm out. I'm out of here. So, somebody is saying goodbye. What do we have for cancer? And it's like looking back and, and saying goodbye. It's like you, this person is obviously just like one last goodbye. That's it. Goodbye. Five of Pentacles. Now the Five of Pentacles is abandonment, right? Um, victim. Victim mentality. Somebody is very insecure, won't ask for help, leaving behind, not asking for help, refusing to ask for help, being left out in the cold. Ooh, three of swords reverse. That's leaving the past behind. Leaving the past behind. Seriously, you are some either you or somebody that you're dealing with, this is in May, is leaving something behind that hurt them. Completely leaving it behind. On the path to recovery, releasing pain. Ooh, could be dealing with a Capricorn, doesn't have to be. But this is a very unhealthy, toxic situation. Tied to something for all the wrong reasons. There could be some addictions here. Drugs, alcohol, sex, obsession. And there's a victim mentality where somebody has chosen to be a victim of this obsession, of this toxic situation. They have allowed themselves to stay in this situation. It's walking away. It's like turning your back. Somebody is turning their back on a toxic, unhealthy situation. That they have been obsessed with. It was a karmic connection. They were, they were, it's like you were a slave to this situation. But now you're turning your back to it. You're saying goodbye. Things have probably gotten worse. And it's like you know you have to free yourself. It's definitely... Um, this is a separation. You've been focusing on this emotionally disappointing situation for a while now. Missing another opportunity. And you were focusing on it because of some addiction, some sort of a obsession. Maybe there was some drugs, alcohol, booze, sex, whatever that caused you to stay. But it feels as though... You're gaining some sort of strength, or somebody is walking away from you. There's wa somebody's walking away. This person, I mean, the Empress is a mother, or it's a very experienced woman who knows her value. She's abundant, she's tender, loving care, she's beautiful, she's glowing, she's devoted. Somebody may be trying to help you. It could be your mother. 
or a woman that acts as a mother. This is a motherly figure that because this is help. Somebody may be trying to help you, trying to get you to see that you are in an abusive situation. The Empress is a Taurus or a Libra or it could be anybody, but this could also be you taking on this energy. It's time for a rebirth to deal with the pain. So this is about dealing with some sort of pain to get a reward. Knowing your value. We have a very valuable woman here. She knows her value. She's abundant. She's tender. She's loving. She's caring. She's kind. She's generous. She's all about love. She's very sensual. She's beautiful. She demonstrates love. Ooh, the lovers reversed. So this is the end of a contract, a false contract. There's a separation here. There is a separation with a false contract. And it's because of self-love. So somebody is going to be, tatching, be detaching from a false contract that was based on sex and addictions and greed and something like that. And they're doing it out of self-love, out of self-value. And they may be getting some advice from a motherly figure that says, you know, you, that you deserve more. You deserve more than this. Why are you being a victim to this kind of abuse? So anyway, I feel as though there is going to be a... It's like you're, you've been focusing on this emotionally disappointing situation for a while. It's been hurting you. It has been hurting you, but you were blind to it because of the addiction, the obsession to it. You were blind to it. But now it's like you're walking away. You're walking away because you know your value. We have an ending here. We have a death, the ending of something. It wasn't meant to survive. It wasn't meant to last forever. Not everything survives. You have another opportunity here. You have another opportunity for love with somebody that will love you. Somebody that will love you and will take care of you. But you have to love yourself first. So I think we have a major ending, a profound change. I think that something is falling apart that uh, was based on lust. It was based on greed. And this could be you or the person that you're asking about. Something is falling apart that was based on lust. It was based on greed. It was based on ego. It was based on addictions. It wasn't based on love. I think that loveless connection that was based on sex, looks like to me, in, in addictions, is falling apart. I think it's ending. That situation, that contract, that false contract is ending. Somebody is... is um, they're leaving. They're, they're, they're leaving somebody out in the cold. I think you may have been led. You may have been, been led. Uh, the blind, this is like the blind leading the blind. You, you and this person were leading each other down the wrong path anyway. But I think now it's like you've been given some sort of advice or you start to see something or something happens. You go through some sort of inner transformation that changes your outlook or it or somebody gives you some, some good sound advice, could be a motherly figure or a, a woman or something that says, you know, you deserve more than this. You deserve a, a, a tender, loving connection. You deserve somebody that's going to love you, but you need to love yourself. I think that you have multiple options, especially if you are the feminine. The feminine watching this, the feminine watching this has multiple options. She does. And I feel like she's getting out of a false contract with somebody that has kept her stuck. She, it's kept her stuck. I think that she's breaking that bond. Um, I think that she is, has focused on it long enough and she's leaving it behind. She's leaving that, that pain behind. She's, she's totally leaving the pain behind. She's going someplace else. I think this is, um, a separation that leads to a new beginning. It leads to a brand new life. So we do have a separation that leads to a brand new life with 
if you're the masculine watching this with somebody that will actually take care of you, this is somebody that the Empress is the goddess of love. So if you are the masculine watching this, you have a new beginning after a separation with this woman who is very, I mean, she is very abundant. She is very fertile. She can grow anything. She will nurture you. She will take care of you. She will love you. She is wealthy as well. So, um, this is the, this is your a wish being granted. If you are the masculine, if you are the feminine, you may be going after wish fulfillment. You may be, you may dis be, it looks like you're ending something because of self love and you're looking for, to have it all, right? I want to have it all. You're wishing for something more. You're wishing for love. So I feel cancer that in May you are going, this is a separation and this one is too. It's painful because the empress has to deliver pain. She has to go through pain to get a reward. And it is painful for the three of swords. So I think you are, and maybe you, you go through the, the separation uh, the, in the month before, or it could be in May. There is some sort of separation here that is painful, but it, it, it allows you to start a new life. So you do have a new beginning here. You do after something has died. It has died. Okay, after something has died, you have a new beginning. Um, you were missing it, though. You were missing an opportunity for love. But now, this there's a new opportunity coming in that you have absolutely been wishing for. It's what you, it's what you were hoping for anyway. You have a new life that is about to begin. Um, but it is after this painful separation. It is. It is. Um, there's a relationship. There's a breakup here. We definitely have a breakup here between the wrong, with the wrong one, with the wrong one. And this breakup uh, leads you to a new beginning. It really, really, really does. So I think that you are about to um, start a new life. Uh, and you have multiple options, especially the feminine. The feminine here has multiple options. The masculine has an opportunity with an empress. This empress is, <laughs> she's very laid back. She's very down to earth. She's um, a gardener, perhaps. She loves to be outside. She's uh, very nurturing. She's a homemaker, okay? And I feel like there's been some abandonment because it starts with abandonment. So this abandonment leads, abandonment leads to a new life. Okay, it leads to a new life. Um, this broken relationship leads to a new life. So we do have a new beginning here. Um, turning your back on a toxic situation once and for all. starts a new beginning of some sort with that Empress card. Three of Pentacles reversed. Um, not putting in effort. Lack of harmony with others. Not on the same. We have a relationship that's not on the same page. You need to refocus. You're dealing with somebody who doesn't respect you and that needs to end. You need to end it. You need to you need to take care of yourself. You need to defend yourself. You need to protect yourself from that kind of behavior. If somebody doesn't respect you, you need to stop giving them your energy. And I think that's what you're going to do. I think you're dealing with somebody who uh, doesn't respect you at all. There's been a lack of judgment. Somebody has made a poor judgment call. Whoever you're dealing with may may make you feel ashamed, okay? This is feeling guilty, feeling ashamed, feeling like, you know, uh, you're not good enough. And I feel like uh, you may be having doubts. You Maybe they've made you doubt yourself. They've made you forget your value. So anyway, I feel as though... Cancer in May, you are going to be uh, moving on from that bad choice. I think that you got yourself into a relationship built on lust, built on greed, built on obsession. You know, the need to have somebody, maybe instant gratification, you know, codependency. This is codependency. I don't want to be alone. 
I don't want to be alone. So you get yourself into the wrong relationship just because you don't want to be alone. And I feel like it's been very uh, toxic. It's been very unhealthy. And I feel like you're breaking free from that. I do. I feel like you're breaking free from it. You're walking away. You're turning your back. And I think it hurts. But I also feel that because you do that, you are starting a new life. You are. You're, you have got a new beginning to follow. You really do. Once you move on from that bad choice, your new beginning is right here. So this is the birth of a new life for you. Okay? It really is. It is the birth of a new life. It is. So uh, I think that you have a new beginning that is coming. And it's with either um, a Taurus, a Libra, or a Scorpio. There could be somebody that has passed away that is guiding you. Okay. Could be a mother, could be a wife, an ex, but if you like in death, somebody that, because I just heard that message, is somebody that passed away that is guiding you to turn your back, to turn your back on this person that is toxic to you, that you are only with because you don't want to be alone. Somebody has made a poor judgment call. And they have gotten themselves into the wrong relationship because of codependency reasons. And I feel like this month you will be walking away from that codependent relationship out of self-love. And you have been guided to do so. One more card. There's, there's uh, extreme feeling extremely guilty. Exhausted. Overwhelmed. Your gut is telling you that this is not good. It is not healthy. And it's time for closure. So I feel like... Uh, the universe has a golden opportunity waiting for you. To walk away. From that toxic situation. And they're going to present you with this golden opportunity. As soon as you turn your back. Good luck.